In this video, I'm going to do a review and a test on the Hippo water slide decal paper. Uh, my name is Dorma Acosta with All Things Handmade. Let's get to work. So the first thing that we're going to need is uh, we need to use an inkjet printer to print the images. Uh, this package has 20 sheets and the size is A4 uh, size paper, which is 8.3 by 11.7. So the paper has a, 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 a smooth, shiny side and it has the rough side with some numbers. Be printing it, pointing upside down on an inkjet printer. So here's my result right here. So you're gonna be needing the images that you wanna uh, use. Uh, you're gonna be needing the coffee mug that you're gonna do. Some of the images are gonna go here for a birthday gift. I already did two coats of the glitter and one coat of the resin, the epoxy. And you're also gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need a ruler and you're gonna need either this one here or this one here. You need a bowl of water and a box because this is gonna be sprayed outside. So let me move my camera so I can show you how I printed uh, these images on my own Google uh, Docs. Let's, let me go to the screen so I can show you. Okay, so here we are. This is already G-Docs. If you have a Gmail account, you should be able to use that to get to get into G-Docs. So I'm already in uh, the file. I already press uh, File New, and um, and this is the image that we're gonna that I already printed. But I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I downloaded the image, and if you look right now, I cannot move the image from where it is. So what I'm gonna do, you're gonna go right here, and you're gonna click on that, and that's gonna allow you to move it and resize it. The paper size is A4. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go, I already did that, but I'm just gonna show you. You go to File, you go to Page page Setup, and then you're gonna go zero on the margins so that you use every inch possible. You're gonna go Select Content, I'm sorry, and then go Whole Document, and it was eight and a half by 11, and I changed it to A4, right there. And then you go OK. At this point, you try to put the image as high as possible and then you're gonna go here to make it bigger as big as you can and there it is all you do is go print on your inkjet put it upside down and there you have it it's printed so let's go to the next step for this next step and for the coffee mugs i'm only going to use these two images so these are the other ones that we're going to put a coating on we're gonna go ahead and spray this coating. It needs to be outside because it has a strong smell. Um, we're gonna spray it right now and two more times, 10 minutes after and 10 minutes after with the total coating of uh, three coatings. I put it in outside of the box because inside the box is too deep. So I'm just kind of improvising. So you're just gonna go and put a, uh, an even coat Just like that. Oh yeah, it does smell strong. And then another even coat. After we put the three coats, you need to let it dry for a few minutes. So I'll see you back when this is done. Okay, here we are. I have done three coats on um, each one of them. And we're ready to go ahead and put them in on a clean glass. But I wanted to show you something, you guys, because I'm also, I'm testing this uh, for myself too. I said that the uh, stickers that were gonna be in the in the bottled water were not gonna be sprayed. And this is what I did with them and I realized, realized that it doesn't matter how you're gonna use it, they need to be sprayed. I put them in the water and this is what happened. So I wanna be honest with you so you know that, you know, it's a learned, learning experience. So right now I have the ones already sprayed and I'm, I'm spraying the other ones, but and I'm gonna put a, um, picture of the end, uh, ending product. But these are the ones that um, I'm gonna put on the coffee mug and we're gonna go ahead and put them inside the water. 
don't try to put them lift them before because then the the um the paint cracks okay we're also going to need a rag uh to to take off all the residue water and a brush to brush it okay so we wait about 60 40 to 60 seconds so i'm going to go ahead and lift this out and we're going to go ahead and put it here where we want, want it placed very slowly and we're going to start sliding the paper out this is, has to be very slowly and then you just determine where you want it and you start going over it make sure that we get all the water out and you can even use a brush to just brush it out just like that get all the water out and make sure there's no wrinkles on it or anything like that so you make sure that this is straight and where you want it so i think i that's where i want it right there there it is all the water has been mostly out so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to be um very slowly i'm going to put this over it to just kind of grab any water just like that so there's my first image here we go so now i need to be careful with the other image because i don't want to mess it up being that i already have one on this side so i'm going to just go ahead and leave, leave it up and go ahead and get my image and it's already sliding already sliding right there whoa, 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 whoa. so i'm going to go ahead and paste it being very careful with the with the other one and there it is so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to place it where i want it and i'm going to start trying to let the water add behind the image um i found out that i really don't need to put water in the on the on the coffee mug um so there it is look at that so again i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to put this over it just once so there it is and there it is so the instructions say that i need to put it in the oven I can leave it um i can leave it out for three hours to dry but i think i'm going to put it in the oven i'm just going to put the oven so i'm going to take you with me you guys okay so here we are i'm going to put at uh, the instructions say that it's at 2 30 15 to 20 minutes but my oven is it's just um not taking some of the numbers so i'm going to go 188 and i'm going to leave it for longer so there we go and then I'm going to go ahead and put, even though it's still cold, I'm gonna go ahead and put my put my cup in the oven. And I'm gonna let it, leave it there for about, I think I'm gonna go for 30 minutes because it's a lower heat. And then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back, turn off the, the oven and let it sit there until it cools down. So that's the process that we need to do. And then when we're done, let's come back to it. Okay, this is the last step. I already turned it off. And I, I left it inside the oven to let it cool. So here it is. Let me go into the light. This is how it looks. It feels really nice. It feels like it's, it feels almost like sublimation, but it's not. You can still feel the edges around, but it looks really nice. Look at that. Look at that. So if you have problems with not being able to purchase the stuff for sublimation, I think this is your uh, your best bet. Uh, but make sure to tell people to um, hand wash it. Either way, because we don't know if this is going to come off. Um, I'm going to test this one, and I, I will maybe put in the comments if there's any, any changes on it. Um, I'm going to put it on my Facebook if you want to check it out there. But other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching. May the Lord bless you today and every day. And until next time, thank you.